mighty sting, exhaling in every breath the plight he brings. To the grave he gave victory, triumphing over life with the fear of endless sleep. Endlessly we hide from our mortality. Mortally wounded from birth, we lie to ourselves from infancy. Infinitely investing time in a life that will inevitably be taken by this incredible creature that now stands before me. Death. He manifests himself on ordinary days. His six-foot stomach growls with hunger pangs. For his meal, he cannot wait, so we are forced to taste him even before the grave. We are all dying. There is no other way. I see him in Haitian and Japanese earthquakes. He's hating the escapees of his cruel wakes. I see him in poverty, impoverishing the quality of life for regions that are reachable, and in those with the reach who find reason not to reach out to treat what is treatable. I see him in disease, taking life out of uninfected yet affected families. I see him in oppression, pressing down on the oppressed and the oppressor. I see him in depression, in Prozac and pain pills, and razor blades and bedside wills. I see him in abuse, physical, mental, emotional misuse. I see him in spiritual confusion, material obsession, physical possessions. I see him in marital transgressions, childhood remorse from an ugly divorce. I see him in our slavery to appearances, appearing to care more about our images than those in dying villages. I see him in our ignorance, ignoring truth with some comfortable inference. I see his emergence in our churches as we pull out emergency verses as deterrence to religious differences, going on the defensive, defending our way of worship, making community worthless. Death is killing us before we even enter the surface of the earth. We are in service of his words. It is finished, the end of our birth. We cannot hide from his wretched curse. For death and his grave, we constantly rehearse. Even God himself was coerced. Divinity immersed itself in humanity, humbly taking on flesh, scorning vanity. The world saw his way of life as insanity, insisting he cease speaking of this radical Christianity. But man found him guilty, accusing God of blasphemy, performing the ultimate usurpation by slaying Christ on Calvary. But through their cowardly cross, Jesus embossed mankind with amnesty, championing over death with the beauty of his fatal injury. And I know, many still doubt, and rightfully so, bringing up this inquiry. What does that poor Jewish man dying on a Roman tree 2,000 years ago have to do with me? I reply simply, 
Christ came and died to marry his bride-to-be And though death could kill the groom, it could not kill the ring God made us one with Christ and life and matrimonies cling Now the undying church, his ever-living wife can sing Oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? For we have risen above your misery We will not succumb 